Do you ever worry about getting canceled, Dana? Not, what, what does that mean, actually? Canceled. Canceled by who? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Canceled by who? I obviously have in the UFC and in life, you have a fan base. Yes. People that, that believe in you, that love you regardless. And do whatever it is, that, you know, uh, that are in with you. Um, outside of those people and my circle that I give a shit about, you I don't. could care less. I could care less. And, and, and I've seen people talk about, oh, well, he has fuck you money and all that other stuff. I equate it to being gay. Okay. Think about this in life. Back in the eighties, mm -hmm. if you came out and said you were gay, it could destroy your career. Mm -hmm. It could destroy. Imagine living a life where you can't be who you really are. Correct. It's, it's got to be a horrible thing, right? Yes. Fuck that. I, 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 I am who I am. If you like it or you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. Right. That's your problem, not mine. So you're going to have people who, 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 who do like you and don't like you. This whole trying to cancel people thing, even the thing when, when, when I did the, 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 uh, the roast. No, the interview with, with uh, Theo Vaughn. Okay. And the guy from Peloton. I don't know if you saw this, but the guy who was running Peloton was sponsoring his show. He just stepped down from Peloton actually within the last month. And he had, uh, Theo Vaughn had, um, uh, Kennedy mm -hmm. on his podcast, yeah. right? Robert. They called and said, you need to take that episode down. Mm -hmm. What? He's a fucking Kennedy. Right. And he's a Democrat. Right. And he's an American citizen. Right. And he has the right to say and fucking think whatever he thinks. Right. You sell stationary fucking bikes for a living. <laughs> and you think because you spend money with Theo Vaughn, you have the right to tell him to take another fucking American down off his platform? Who the fuck do you think you are, you arrogant fucking piece of shit? <laughs> now, I'm not trying to cancel Peloton or tell people, but I ripped the Pelotons out of my fucking gym here at UFC. Did you? Ripped them out of the gym that day. You know what I mean? Um, I can't stand that stuff. That stuff makes me crazy. You don't like, you don't like corp corporations or companies that bully people yeah, well, and dictate what someone can say or what they can show. Say, show, talk about, promote, vote for any of that stuff, man. It's like, I, uh, you know, I, le I was very liberal when I was younger. Right. I lean more conservatively now because I'm, I'm all in for common sense. Right. I want common sense, but I don't judge anybody by their politics. Right. I don't, uh, discriminate against people. You know who I discriminate against? <laughs> Douchebags. Okay. <laughs> if you're a douchebag, I probably don't like you. Okay. <laughs> But other than that, all this political bullshit and trying to cancel people, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not in, man. I'm not in. Do, could you see yourself being a part owner of another professional, like uh, an NFL team or an NBA team? Not really. I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I couldn't see myself in that, uh, in that sort of corporate structure. What me and the Fertitas like to do. Yeah. We take sports, niche sports, that nobody thinks will work, mm -hmm. and we we build them into billion dollar businesses. That's what we do. Is it true that you move the birth date of your child for a Chuck Liddell fight? I did. Yeah. So my son was supposed to be born. You know, they give you the due date when you think it's going to happen, and it was a big Chuck Liddell fight. And I'm like, yeah, that's not going to work for me. We're going to have to. <laughs> we're going to have to. We're going to have to go in and pull him out a little early. When people. They saw the incident and you and your wife, what happened with you and your wife. How were you able to get past that, Dana? Because that had to be the toughest time that you had ever gone through in your life. It wasn't. COVID was. Really? Yeah, COVID was way tougher than that. But the, the, the thing was, it wasn't about getting through it publicly. Yes. It was about getting through it personally. Okay. With Her. my kids. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife. Me and my wife were fine. Okay. Me and my wife they had whatever. We, you know... My kids, the kids had never seen that before. It was on the world stage. We embarrassed them, you know, and, and, and no kids want to see that no. shit with your parents. Everybody else can go fuck themselves. Okay. <laughs> it had nothing to do with them. Right. It was about my family. Right. That's, that's what's important. Mm -hmm. The people who know me and know her, they, they know us and, and, and we're fine. It was it was my kids. That was something personal between me and my family. Right. So, 
listen, people are going to have their, people still talk about it. And people, have, I would have an opinion too. Right. Of course. I would have an opinion. Right. Seeing that. You know what I mean? If that happened there on New Year's Eve, basically on stage mm -hmm. at a club in Mexico, that probably isn't the first rodeo. You know what I mean? Right. I would say the same thing. Mm -hmm. But I know exactly who I am. Mm -hmm. My kids know who I am. My, my circle of people that I give a shit about know who I am. And that's what mattered to me. You know, when, when you, when you step up and you do a roast, like my second joke that, 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 that I told was, so I wake up that morning and I start thinking about what if I start to bomb? <laughs> right? If I start to bomb, what, 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 how, how could I attack the crowd? Right. Right. And, and, and right. whatever. I call Bill Burr. And literally, I said to Bill, if I start to bomb, how could I attack like the LA, California crowd that's there or whatever? He pauses for like two seconds and says, what? My, my name is Dana. Is that not trans enough for you right. liberal? F <laughs> and I go, oh, sh I'm opening with that one. <laughs> I'm opening with that. I'm not going to, right? So, so when I, when I put the joke in, right. that, that all the comedians were telling me, don't do that joke. Right. Don't do that joke. You're not going to get the response you think. I said, oh, no, no. I, I literally want to come out and punch yes, this I dude do. right in the face. Yes. You know what I mean? And that, that was how that right. happened. Did you, could you get a sense? Cause like I say, you know, Tom, you've been around Tom in a private setting, not, you know, the, the, the politically correct Tom. So you know him a lot better than a lot, most people. Could you, did you, could you sense that he got a little uncomfortable with it or did he just like, he was tall. He definitely wasn't uncomfortable. Okay. Tom Brady, you know, everybody talks about Brady like, oh, you know, he's soft and he's a pretty, but he's a fucking beast, man. That guy's a <laughs> savage. And, you know, again, when, when you're in positions like we are in, mm -hmm. you, you don't worry about yourself. You're, right. You, you, it is, you're, you signed up for this shit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. In life, mm -hmm. you do what you do. You say things every day. You do multiple podcasts. You're on television. Yeah. You say things right. that you know you're going to be attacked for your opinion or whatever it is. It's just, it's hard to see your family the get kids, attacked. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. It's all more about the kids. Right. Um, and, and, you know, at, there are a lot of great things that come with being our kids. You know, there's a lot of yes, positive, a lot of there's a lot of negative yeah. stuff. And you got to take the good with the bad. Right. Not everything's going to be perfect. My kids see it all the time. People say horrible shit. And people say things. Who right. gives a shit? Were you really upset that you only had 60 seconds? Did you really want three to five minutes? No, that was how I... It, <laughs> I wanted six seconds. Okay? I wanted you wanted six, one joke and get away. I wanted six seconds. I didn't want 60 seconds. And Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.